Rossi on the brakes in the turn 10. He's going to try and move by Rossi down the straight. Marquez has got the slipstream. He moves up on the outside. Rossi can't hold it, can he? And Rossi on the brakes and leads the way into turn one. Rossi victorious in an epic Barcelona battle 2016 ahead of Marc Marquez. Born in Urbino, Italy. Valentino Rossi was destined for speed. His father, Graziano Rossi, a former motorcycle racer himself, introduced young Valentino to racing. But guess what? Rossi's first love was karting. That's right, at just five years old, he was already racing karts, thanks to his mum's concern for safety. Little did she know, this was just the beginning of a thrilling journey. When Valentino Rossi was just a kid, he went from racing go-karts to zooming around on tiny motorcycles called mini-motos. This was a big step for him and it started his journey to becoming a super-famous motorcycle racer. Rossi was amazing at racing right from the beginning. He wasn't just good, he was awesome, like a racing superhero. He raced in lots of local races and guess what? He won a lot. He was so good that he won a big race called the Italian Sport Production Championship. This was a big deal because it showed that Rossi was going to be a great racer when he grew up. But Rossi is not just famous for being super fast. He is also really fun and has a great personality that people love. He made racing exciting, not just by winning, but by being fun. He dressed up like Robin Hood, who is a famous hero from old stories. Rossi did this to make people smile and enjoy the races even more. These fun things he did did showed everyone that Rossi was not just a racer. He was a special kind of star who was loved by so many people all over the world. Valentino Rossi's journey in motorcycle racing was nothing short of spectacular. As a young racer, he quickly made a name for himself in the world of high-speed motorbikes. In 1997, Rossi achieved a remarkable feat by winning the 125cc World Championship. This victory wasn't just a win, it was a display of Rossi's extraordinary talent and potential. He raced with a level of skill and confidence that was rare for someone so young. His ability to handle the bike, combined with his fearless racing style, made it clear he was a rising star in the racing world. But Rossi didn't stop there. By 1999, just two years after his first world championship win, he climbed another step on the ladder of motorcycle racing success. He entered the 250cc class, a category known for being more challenging and competitive. In this class, Rossi didn't just compete, he dominated. His performances on the track were a blend of raw speed, incredible bike control, and strategic racing. It was in the 250cc class that Rossi really began to show his unique flair. He wasn't just fast, he was also charismatic and captivating. His presence on the track was magnetic, drawing fans and spectators into the excitement of each race. Rossi's domination in the 250cc class was a clear sign that he was destined for even greater heights in the racing world. He raced with a passion and energy that set him apart from his competitors. His victories were not just about crossing the finish line first, they were about showcasing his exceptional talent and his deep love for the sport. Rossi's rise in motorcycle racing was a journey marked by incredible achievements, and it was evident that this was just the beginning of an illustrious career that would make him a legend in the world of motorsport. In the year 2000, Valentino Rossi, a super cool motorcycle racer, jumped into a big challenge. He started racing in the 500cc class, which is like the major leagues of motorcycle racing. This class is all about super fast bikes and the best racers in the world competing against each other. Rossi stepping into this class was a huge deal because it showed he was ready to race with the best of the best. In this world of fast bikes, Rossi had some tough competitors. One of his biggest rivals was Max Biaggi, another amazing racer. When Rossi and Biaggi raced, it was like watching two superheroes battle it out. They raced super fast zipping around the track and sometimes they even
even argued off the track, which made their races even more exciting. Rossi also had epic races with Seti Gibernau, another top racer. Their races were always edge of your seat exciting, with the winner often not decided until the very last part of the race. Rossi's racing style was awesome. He wasn't just fast, he was also smart about how he raced. He knew just the right time to zoom past other racers and take the lead. All of Rossi's incredible skills and smart racing moves helped him win multiple world championships in the 500cc class. He wasn't just winning races, he was changing the game of motorcycle racing. He did things on his bike that others thought were impossible and inspired a whole bunch of new racers. This time in Rossi's career, career was the start of what many people call the Doctor's Era. He got the name The Doctor because he was so precise and smart in his racing, just like a doctor is in their job. Rossi's amazing racing in the 500cc class made him a legend, and he became an inspiration for many racers who came after him. In 2004, something really surprising happened in the world of motorcycle racing. Valentino Rossi, a super famous racer, decided to join the Yamaha team. Now, Yamaha wasn't doing too well back then. They were like a soccer team that hadn't won many games. But when Rossi joined them, it was like magic happened. Rossi brought his amazing skills to Yamaha and suddenly the team started to do really well. It was like Rossi had a special touch. He didn't just race, he raced to win, and that's exactly what he started doing with Yamaha. His victories weren't just good news for the team, they made the races super exciting for everyone watching. But Rossi was known for more than just being fast on a motorcycle. He was also famous for being a fun guy on the track. He liked to celebrate in cool and funny ways that made people smile and cheer. For example, after he won a big race, ending a time when he hadn't won a championship, he wore a special t-shirt. This wasn't just any t-shirt, it had the words, sorry for the delay, written on it. It was Rossi's way of saying, hey, I know I haven't won in a while, but I'm back now. This fun celebration was Rossi's way of showing that he was not just a great racer, but also someone who loved to entertain and make racing fun for everyone. His move to Yamaha and all the victories that followed showed everyone just how brilliant and talented he was, not just as a racer, but as a showman too. His time with Yamaha was like a great comeback story in sports, where the underdog team starts winning with the help of a superstar. In Valentino Rossi's race, career. Not everything was as easy as riding a bike on a sunny day. He had some tough times too, like when he had to race against a very fast and young racer named Marc Marquez. Marquez was like the new kid on the block, super talented and always ready to win. Racing against Marquez was intense for Rossi. Their races were super close and sometimes they would zoom past each other so fast, it was like watching a superhero movie. Another challenge for Rossi was when he joined the Ducati team. Ducati is another team that makes racing bikes, but when Rossi was with them, things didn't go as well as he hoped. It was like being a great soccer player who joins a new team and suddenly can't score goals like before. The Ducati bike was really different from the Yamaha bike he was used to, and it was hard for Rossi to get used to it. He tried really hard, but he couldn't win races like he used to. But Rossi never gave up. His love for racing was too strong. He knew that he still had that special racing magic inside him, so he decided to go back to the Yamaha team. This was like coming home for Rossi. And guess what? His magic touch came back. When he returned to Yamaha, he started to win races and stand on the winner's podium again, holding those big shiny trophies. It was like a great comeback in a movie, where the hero faces tough times, but then rises back up to be a champion again. Even with these challenges, Rossi's love for racing never faded. He kept his passion alive, and it showed every time he raced. This part of Rossi's story teaches us that even when things get tough, if you keep trying and never give up on what you love, you can still do amazing things. Rossi's return to the top with Yamaha proved that the Doctor, that's his cool nickname, still had the magic touch in racing. Even as Rossi's career on two wheels entered its twilight, his influence remained strong. Mentoring young riders and even venturing into car racing, Rossi continued to 
expire. His number 46, a symbol of racing excellence, was retired, honoring a career that redefined the sport. Valentino Rossi, a name synonymous with speed, skill, and charisma, leaves behind a legacy unmatched in motorcycle racing. For fans around the world, Rossi wasn't just a racer. He was, and always will be, a true icon of the sport. Grazie. Thank you, Valentino Rossi, for the incredible memories and the countless thrilling races. You'll always be the champion of our hearts. Loved this journey through Valentino Rossi's career? Well, you can also be a biking legend. Just remember, life is short. Ride more motorcycles.